What's up guys, Pogo Sean GG here and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you some battles I did today with a new Pokemon I just built and I had to use an Elite Charge TM. It's going to be Shadow Swampert with Hydro Cannon uh, and Earthquake. Um, in the previous Ultra League I was using this exact same team but with a regular Swampert but I wanted to try out a Shadow Swampert just because I managed to snag one. It has really great IVs for the Ultra League. It's around rank 35-ish, so the IVs are like 1, 10, 12 or something. So it, it gives it a little bit more bulk, and it could survive a little bit more charge moves, but I'm excited to use it. So what I've been testing out is, typically I play uh, Swampert in the back. Um, there's a few games, I don't, know, I don't know if I show it here, but I use Swampert in, in the front. But based on like what I've been seeing, what I've been testing it, I like to use it in the back and start off and lead off with Cresselia. Um, generally, Cresselia is a really great, uh, actually it's really great in any position, but I like to use it as a lead. And yeah, um, I haven't been playing Premier Cup so much just because I like using my Cresselia and I like using Registeel sometimes. I think it's fun. Even though uh, Premier Cup seems a lot more diverse, I actually really enjoy this. So, cool guys. So let's bring it back to the battles. So, I go ahead and bring out uh, my Swampert here uh, to get a Hydro Cannon on this Togekiss. And if that were a regular Swampert throwing Hydro Cannon, it wouldn't get it into the yellow. It would actually be a little bit before the yellow. And just the way the damage outputs and the way that the team uh, synergizes, this extra bit of damage uh, does well with the extra lick damage from Snorlax. It does well with like an extra Moonblast uh, with Cresselia, and I'm really enjoying it. It can it can actually win the Zero Shield against um, what's that? What's that Pokemon? The one that's right there, Escavalier. So I'm still learning the, the little intricacies of the matchups. It's Some of them are skewed just a tiny bit, and I'm still learning that. And it's, it's been a little process. That's why my score has been all over the place. Let's see what up here. Oops. So we're up against an Ampharos. This is pretty spicy. And I was thinking this, is, this might have been a mistake for my opponent. Maybe they clicked on Ultra League, but they wanted to go to Premier. But based on the battles, they're definitely... Uh, in the right league. So this is not a great matchup for my opponent, especially if we're running a Focus Blast. Cresselia is going to be a great wall towards this Ampharos. Um, we see it throw these Thunder Punches, and it's barely doing anything. And my opponent's going to have to decide to shield up these Moon Blasts. I went for an undercharged one just to get some farm down if that landed. But it looks like I'm going to go ahead and commit to the full uh, damage output right now. And as you can see, um, I'm not going to shield here at all. Just because I know the Pokemon in the back can handle this Pokemon really well. And now my opponent's down two shields and I can bring out Swampert and it's going to be a complete wall to this Ampharos. I don't think I even have to shield here. But I think I do shield just because I was scared of the Focus Blast. Oh, okay, it's a Dragon Pulse. That would have been a lot more damage. Whereas the electric moves are resisted. They're single resisted. And so shields are down. Swampert has a little bit of low energy. And I make a mistake there. I was not paying attention. Um, I thought it was an Articuno, but it's not. It's a Lapras. So let's see how much this Earthquake does. And you know how bulky Lapras is? Look how much this does. It's incredible. It almost knocks it out. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably farm this thing down. And whatever is in the back is not gonna appreciate this. And I make another misplay. I, I throw another Hydro Cannon. But as you can see right here, it's gonna be taken out with one Earthquake. And that just goes to show that the Shadow Swampert in the Ultra League is is really dominant. And I think it's ranked number one in Premier Cup as well. But I haven't been able to get the hang of Premier Cup, so I just decided to do Ultra because I enjoy these, these really bulky, bulky matches that take forever. 
And so we're up against a Giratina here. Again, I like to save my shields for Shadow Swampert. And all I'm going to do is just land these Moon Blasts. Uh, depending on the situation or how I feel that day, I like to switch out into Snorlax towards the end of this interaction. Uh, just to save a Cresselia's health a little bit, just to save, like, hold a Moon Blast in the back. But it looks like I'm just going straight Moon Blast and I'm not going to be switching out here. So we do get the shield, which is great. But our opponent, I'm, I'm guessing my opponent throws Dragon Claw here. If not, then good plan him. So it is a Dragon Claw. Okay, so I go down there with the Moon Blast, which isn't good at all. And so my play is my play here now is to farm Giratina all the way down and have stored up energy for whatever's coming out in the back. If this is if this were a Dragon Breath Giratina, or is it a Dragon Breath Giratina? I think it is actually. Oh well, but the dragon uh, the dragon claw the dragon claw the shadow claw Giratina is almost uh it is snorlax is a complete wall to that so he brings out chrysalia which is great for us these licks are going to be doing super effective damage in this situation i would love to have shadow snorlax because i believe there's a break point within the lick damage doing a little bit more extra damage but it's okay so i notice that he's running confusion so their charge moves aren't going to be as fast so i'm going to go ahead and bring out Shadow Swamp it here to clean up. A little sketchy play by me, but I think I'm committing to the farm down here, which is really gutsy. But I have two Hydro Cannons stored up, and it's a Mel Metal. So I'm just going to go straight for the nuke. Pure Earthquake if he doesn't shield. Great. So that's a one hit KO um, from Shadow Swampert, and I'm absolutely loving it. So my opponent leaves off with another Giratina. There's plenty of Giratina leads lately. So this is the Dragon Breath one. Um, sli sli less slightly favorable matchup for my opponent. They're going to be getting to the charge moves a little bit slower and uh, the Dragon Breaths aren't going to be nearly doing as nearly as much damage as the Shadow Claw. Just because Shadow Claw is super effective against Cresselia. Uh, and now I'm just going to be charging a little bit just to throw off my opponent of where I am with my energy. So I'm at one and a half moon blasts. Um, I do this just to, from, time to, from time to time to confuse my opponents. So I go for the moon blast here and if my opponent doesn't shield it's going to be taken out. Okay, so he does go down and we're up a shield. And look what we get. We get a mail metal. So Shadow Swampert is going to go to town. Um, I'm just going to be going straight Hydro Cannon here. And it does a significant amount of damage. I'm going to shield up this, the first superpower. This is going to be the most damaging one. And whatever he throws here now, because he's debuffed by one stage, both attack and defense, it's not going to do nearly as much damage. So I'm going to go ahead, go and throw the nuke here and let's see what lands. If it lands, oh my gosh, that does so much damage. That is so crazy. So that almost, this, the earthquake with this uh, subsequential mud shots should be easily enough to take out uh, Swampert. So I go, uh, go ahead and bring out my Snorlax just to give it a little bit of love. And there's no reason to go to earthquake here and I'm just going to go straight body slam. And this should be enough to KO. And smart on my opponent not to throw a superpower because essentially he has no options to switch out to clear his debuffs. And we're able to get to a body slam, the second body slam, and this should be more than enough to KO. So GG's. So we're up against Miller Milo R Double D. And this is the most boring matchup there ever is. <clears throat> Typically, if I get hit with a debuff, I like to switch out and store energy on my Cresselia uh, for whatever's coming up next. Because so, so in this situation, I did get debuffed. 
I'm going to bring out my Snorlax because essentially if I throw that energy, it's going to be essentially debuffed energy and it's going to be less energy efficient. So the damage times the DPE is going to be a lot lower. So I don't want to pay this amount to have lower damage. So my opponent is staying in here, um, which is kind of interesting. Not sure why he's staying in here. Maybe he doesn't have a, a great answer for Snorlax. I didn't run into a bunch of counter users today, which is which is lovely. And I'm gonna go ahead, so Lapras comes out. I think the play here is to, yep, bring out the Cresselia. And questionable if I should go Future Sight or Moonblast. Maybe I was hoping to get the debuff, but I think the correct play is to go Future Sight. Yeah. So I'm expecting, okay, it's just a Surf. Maybe I was expecting a Skull Bash. I should have been counting that. And I expect another Surf here, and it is. It doesn't do a lot of damage because Cresselia is just a tank. And I undercharge it here to farm up energy for the next Pokemon. So the Cresselia is coming back out. I'm not gonna shield this. I believe I switch out here just to farm it down with Lax. Store up uh, Future Sight. I should be able to survive this. If not, oh, it's a Grass Knot, okay. So it's perfect amount of energy for Swampert to farm. And we're down a shield against a Charizard. However, Mudshot charges energy up so quick that this is gonna be a GG for my opponent. Zard is such a glassy Pokemon. I think it's even classier than my Shadow Swamper. So community community day is coming up for Charmander. I hope it might. We have to vote on it. But if it does come out, we I hope it gets Dragon Breath. That would be amazing. So GG. Okay, to so this team. So this is that one uh, very strong line that uh, utilizes fast move damage instead of charge move. So I know that. So I think I'm going to be shielding everything up from uh, Empoleon. So I expect my opponent to switch, but he's staying in. So I'm going to go ahead and throw... Okay, so it's not the Empoleon... Giratina Togekiss lines. It's just a random team. So brings that hair across, and we're gonna be able to take this if my opponent doesn't shield. I'm gonna have the second hydro cannon. Excuse me. And can we get to another one? We don't unfortunately, but however. Um, so I, I'm guessing this is a Mega Horn. I need to block this because that would almost KO us, I believe. Okay, so he brings out Togekiss. Um, I believe Snorlax wins this match pretty comfortably. Uh, the Body Slam damage adds up a lot. Thing is we gotta watch out for is the flamethrower but in this situation there's probably nothing I can do Ooh, I think going for the flamethrower would have been better I'm not sure yeah he could have gotten to it too so that's a little bit of a misplay by my opponent but however we have a, a stored up Cresselia in the back and we're gonna go for the combo play here we're going to be able to survive this Hydro Cannon and get a future set off. And this just should be enough to be taken out. Nope, I think we're going to end it with a couple Psycho Cuts and that should be a good game. 
So that was my little 5-0 set with uh, my Shadow Swamper. Um, I hope you guys have a great Season 3. And thank you for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you next time.